everyone, this is Savvy Miss, and today I'm going to show you how to make something uh, for breakfast. And you can serve this any time of day. I have had uh, many requests on do you ever make breakfast foods, and actually today is one of those days um, that I'm going to make my favorite French toast, and this French toast is fabulous. Um, what I did was start out with four eggs, and they're already pre-whipped, and then with those four eggs, you're going to add a third cup of granulated sugar and then a fourth of a cup of, or excuse me, a third of a cup of flour. So that was one third sugar, one third flour, two thirds of whole milk. And then here is a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then just a half of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to whip all this up and then I'm going to take you on over to the stove and I'm going to show you how to cook it. Okay, so here we are over at the stove area and I just whipped this up enough just to mix it all in there. And the flour you're going to see is still going to have um, a little bit of bumpiness to it because that's not going to fully um, mix in because it's not supposed to. So over here is a pan. I'm using cast iron because I love the way it cooks French toast. You can use just any non-stick skillet. I put one tablespoon of butter in and over here I have some French toast. This recipe is going to make about six slices of French toast. I have um, three. That's about what I could fit in my pan. And this is Texas style French toast. It's much thicker than your regular French toast. And it's just really great for um, having French toast because it soaks in all the liquid and, and it doesn't make it too soggy at the same time. And you're going to soak each side for approximately 20 seconds or so. And then you're going to drain off the top a little bit, not too much and just stick it right on there. I have my uh, heat set to like a low medium heat and each side is going to cook for approximately two to three minutes. Okay so let's take a look and see how they're cooking. So far they've been on about three minutes. I've been checking them periodically so I think they're looking pretty golden. Perfect. It smells so awesome. And then what you can do, what I really like to do, is put more butter in the bottom of the pan here just because I want it to cook again more goldeny and that way it just stays really um, crispy and it just looks nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then when it's finished, I'm going to put, keep doing this for about two to three minutes just so it looks the same on the other side and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when we go to serve it up. So the French toast is now ready and it smells so awesome. Can't wait to eat it. It's crispy on the outside and inside it's going to be um, great too. So here it is. And then what I do is, to make it look pretty, well, you can add some more butter on there, but it's really crispy and you don't want it to get soggy, and we did enough butter while we cooked it. Um, so what I like to do is, when I present it, make it a little pretty by putting some powdered sugar right over the top of it, just like that, and then I heat some syrup on the side in the microwave. Just pour that right over the top. My God, this smells so good. You guys are going to love, love, love this. This is like the best French toast I have ever had in my life. And there it is. So please subscribe for my future videos, and thank you again for watching.